Hello! Welcome to my video. My name is Smithy, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Frost Bloom Flower on the highest mountain Rookborn using just my snail mount. That's right, you heard me correctly. Just my snail mount. There is no yattas and there are no bunny rabbits in this video. Now, if you don't have a snail mount, don't worry. Ian's made a video where she uses her Yatta mount to get all the way to the top of the mountain. It's a very good video, so I recommend you go watch it. I'll also add a link to her video in the description below. Now you might be wondering, where did you get that snail mount? Well, you get it from a Halloween event. So next time the Halloween event comes around, get the snail mount. It is worth it. So we need to go up this mountain to get the frost bloom flower for your dream ring quest line. Now in the description below I'll have a link that will take you to the guide. It's step number 16, a protective potion. And the frost bloom is just one of the ingredients that you need to make this potion. Okay, we've well, we wasted enough time talking about it, let's go do it. Right, so here I am in North Paranor. I'm just going to trace on the map the path that I'll be taking in the video. It's slightly different from some of the other videos you might have seen, but I just find this way to be it's a lot simpler. So we're just going to cross all the way north, and then when we get into the actual Rootborn Mountain area, we're then going to just follow along the ridge line. And this is where it starts to get really steep. This is where we'll start be using our snail mount. So where the X is, that's where the frost bloom is. Now behind me, you see, that's where we're going to be heading. Now you can use your snail mount or any other way to get up this little hill here and up there into that little valley. Now just for saving time, I'm just going to use my griffin mount here and fly to the valley. Now this is just me showing that you can easily get up here. Okay, so this is us into the Rookborn Basin area. Alright, just to show you guys how high up we are, that is one of the airships. So, what we want to do here is we want to use our glider and fly to this little platform. I recommend you dismount before you land because you might slide off the other end. Now, 
Okay, again here, what we want to do is glide across, just in a straight line. You might have to use a glider ability to launch yourself up into the air. Now you must be thinking, Smithy, I've been watching this video for like 6 minutes already and I have not seen one snail mount. Now like I said before in the video, I'm just trying to get as high up as I possibly can. But please, just bear with me here. The snail is incoming right now. Say hello to my snail, Mr. Salty. Now I should add here that my snail mount is just a regular snail mount in this video. Right, it's only level 34, it hasn't got any special mount armor that makes it go faster or make it stick better to the mountain side. It's just your regular mount that you would get at the Halloween event.
and there it is that's the frost bloom we're at the top of the mountain now that wasn't so hard right it's so easy to get up here with a snail right most of it you probably just put on auto run all right so don't forget to loot your frost bloom because you'll need it for the quest so just press F or click the wheel now check your inventory should be in there now it is a quest item so you can't trade it with anyone so if you come up here with your friends it has a quick respawn so they can just easily loot it as well now if you do loot it a second time nothing will happen you'll still only have one in your bag So I hope that helped you get your frost bloom for your quest and get you to use your snail mount a hell of a lot more. Thank you for watching, my name is Smithy and I'll see you guys at my next video.